Okay, so I'm out here at the garden with my cute little faithful helper who comes out every day and does gardening with me. Anyway, I am getting ready to spray the garden with neem oil, and this is the kind of neem oil I use. Just from my experience, using a concentrated neem oil like this and mixing it myself works a whole lot better than um, the pre-made mixes that you get. Basically with this stuff, I use a half a teaspoon per quart of water, plus a half a teaspoon of dish soap as an emulsifier in it. And then I just mix it up into a spray bottle like this, and then I um, lightly spray everything in the garden. Now you want to be sure to spray in the early morning or evening because if you spray in direct sunlight, it can cause uh, leaf burn. Neem not only is a good insecticide, but it's also a good fungicide. When spraying tomatoes, you want to be sure to have it on a light mist because if you get too much neem oil on the leaves, it can um, damage the, the leaves. Now I will spray my whole entire garden with this. And I usually spray it every couple weeks or so, depending on if I have a lot of fungus or insects or whatever, then I'll spray more often. If I don't, I'll spray less often. This is my cantaloupe patch. It's looking really nice. Now Miley's spraying her plants. And just look at this tomato plant. We're having a little contest here. See how big Miley's tomato plant is? Now I'll take you over and show you my tomato plant. Now I have no idea what the deal is with this thing. But so far I don't know whether I'm winning or whether Miley's winning because Miley's only gotten one tomato off of hers and I've gotten two off of mine. Mine has a little is getting a lot of baby tomatoes on it. I think it's just crazy the difference. Well I went and did the garden work before I did chores so I haven't let the chickens out yet and I'm sure hearing about it. How dare I not let them out first. So I guess I better get busy with the animal chores. <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, you got a toad in there. Yeah! Trying to get him out? Yes. Save his little life? I lose too much and I can't get him out. Looks like you might need a bigger stick. I got it. <laughs> Good job. You saved his life. <laughs> Excuse the animals. <laughs> if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.